Hello everyone. This video would focus on introduction to vertical angles. By definition, vertical angles are two opposite, that is non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So pretty much the other simplest way to define vertical angles, vertical angles are angles that are across from each other. So let's take this first example right here. So if we say across from each other, they are opposite. So I actually have um, prepared a color paper so that we can go ahead and label the ones that are opposite. So we can go ahead and say that this corner right here, which is B, and this corner right here, which is D, is these two um, corners right here are actually opposite, which means that they are across from each other. So we go ahead and say that they are vertical angles. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this as angle D and angle B are actually vertical angles. On the other hand here, we also have one opposite pair, which is angle A and angle C. So angle A and angle C are vertical angles. So let's move on to the next example right here. So as you can see, there are more angles involved here. So what we do, the trick here is that we cover some parts so we are not distracted by all of these angles that are in the picture. So we can go ahead and cover the first part right here. So we're going to focus on this um, part, this side right here. So we can go ahead and say that in this part, we have angle A and angle D are vertical because they're across from each other. And angle B and angle C are also vertical since they're across from each other. So I can go ahead and write that um, on this side right here. Okay, on the other hand, we can cover the ones that we already got. We can cover it and determine the vertical angles on this branch right here. So as you can see here, the opposite ones are H and R and P and K. So I can go ahead and write them out here. Okay, so these are the pairs of A these are the pairs that we consider as vertical angles. Now let's move on to the next um, slide right here. So we are given this vertical angle theorem. So the vertical angle theorem states that vertical angles are always congruent. The word congruent means they are always equal to each other. So let's take this first example right here. So we're supposed to solve for angle X and angle Y. And we remember again that vertical angles are always congruent angles. So looking at the picture right here, if we have 67 degrees on this side, so these ones have degrees on them. So if we get a 67 on this side right here, 67 degrees, the one that is across from it is Y. So this means that our angle Y is also 67 degrees. Again, the reason why it's 67 because it is these two are vertical. The vertical angle theorem states that vertical angles are always congruent angles. So that means they are equal to each other. On the other hand, our X and 113 are vertical angles. So we can go ahead and say that this angle X is also 113 degrees. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So angle W, we look for the angle that is vertical to W. That angle is 124 degrees. So again, we remember that vertical angles are equal. So angle W is 124 degrees. Now we solve for angle X. Angle X is vertical to 124 degrees. So we can go ahead and say that angle X is 124 degrees as well. Now we solve for Y. We remember that Y is vertical to that of 56 because they are across from each other. And if we say that if they are vertical, then that means they are congruent. So we go ahead and say that Y is 56 degrees. Did you get 124, 124, 56 for angle W, angle X, and angle Y? As your answer? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!